Did you know digoxin, a drug that doctors use to treat heart failure and certain cardiac rhythm abnormalities, may have been the key to Van Gogh painting his famous starry sky? In 1785, digitalis, or dig, was first derived from the purple foxglove plant, digitalis purpurea. And in 1930, in Britain, Dr. Sidney Smith isolated the drug from digitalis lanata. Interestingly, the etymology of the word digitalis comes from the word digit from Latin and German, and it's because they thought it looked finger-like or like a thimble. Purpura because it looked purple, and lanata because it was woolly. But the plant and the drug are mad old. The plant was described in ancient Greece, and even a Welsh physician may have described it in 1250. So inside the heart, digoxin helps make the heart pump stronger and slower. And that's precisely why it worked in 1785 for Dr. William Withering's patients who had heart failure. In heart failure, your heart is just not beating in a very efficient and strong manner. It's very weak. Dr. William Withering described high drops or lower extremity edema and high drops pectoris or pulmonary edema, which are both consequences of heart failure. But today, DID is not a first line therapy for just about anything. That's because we've gotten newer, safer, and more efficacious drugs. But DIG is also kind of a messy drug. It has a very narrow therapeutic index. It means that not enough, it's not gonna have a good physiologic effect, and just over the right amount, you can have toxic effects. Digoxin toxicity can also be precipitated by hyperkalemia or high potassium level, as well as in acute kidney injury, where your kidneys are not functioning properly, the stuff that they normally excrete, like digoxin, can build up in toxic levels. The most common side effects ain't that sexy. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, anorexia, or loss of appetite but it can also cause a lot of cardiac dysrhythmia, sinus bradycardia, frequent PVCs, any type of heart block, at first, second, or third degree, slow AFib, ventricular tachycardia. So I don't use it as a first line therapy, but in some patients with a very fast abnormal heart rate, I might use it because it doesn't impact their blood pressure. Now the last side effect that I'm gonna cover is xanthopsia. Xanthopsia is a visual abnormality where everything kind of has a yellow hue to it. Which brings us back to Van Gogh. Van Gogh's painting style is famous for having these very vivid colors like the yellow in Starry Sky. And it's been reported that maybe in 1889 when he was admitted to an asylum that his doctor treated him with digoxin because it was used for like everything back in the day. And it's theorized that maybe he suffered from digoxin toxicity causing xanthopsia being the source of that yellow vividness in his paintings. Doctors have theorized for a long time about what psychiatric and other diagnoses he may have suffered from. Our historians point out that the yellow hue in his paintings predate his asylum admission in 1889, and maybe it was a little bit of an inspiration for him if he had an episode of digoxin toxicity. Thankfully, xanthopsia is not permanent. If you stop the drug, it should go away. So we don't know with any certainty if Van Gogh really had digoxin toxicity. But I still like the story for two reasons. One, it helps medical students remember a very esoteric piece of medical knowledge. It also reminds me that the practice of medicine is as much a science as it is an art.